Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nifon Tui and on this channel I make sewing tutorials. I post new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. So please make sure to check back on those days to watch new content if you enjoy content like this. Okay, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. If you are a beginner or if you are a person that wants to brush up on your skill, I offer online courses. If you are interested, send a telegram message to the number that you can see on the screen. I'll be showing a demo how to make a jumpsuit for you to watch and see if learning online will be convenient for you. Do have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Alright, you're welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draft a picture that you've seen on the thumbnail. So the main focus is going to be on how to draft a shawl lapel. Okay, so now the first thing we're going to do, you've seen the measurements already, is we're going to need to keep certain allowances that we're going to use when we're creating the shawl lapel. The first thing, uh, first allowance we're going to keep is they're going to come from the edge of your paper. Now mind you, if you are drafting this directly onto your fabric, make sure to fold your fabric, okay, before you start drafting. Put your fabric on a fold before you start to draft. But since I'm drafting on paper and I'll transfer this to fabric, um, then there will be then there is no need for us to fold the paper because i'll fold the fabric so let's save the planet by not consuming too much paper <laughs> uh, so now the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to come from the edge here and i'm going to come in to seven inches and i'm going to make a mark now five inches is what we're going to use these seven inches that i have now five inches out of it will be used for the wrap the remaining two inches in the seven will be used for creating the shawl lapel okay will be part of the shawl lapel part of the fold so you can see all over from the edge in i have marked seven inches now i want you to connect these points together okay you see that so now i've connected all these points together from the bottom all the way up to the top now the next thing we're going to do now we know that a shawl lapel is a collar that doesn't have any cuts okay it comes smoothly it follows the body and goes flush behind the neck so the joining for the shawl lapel sits at the back of your neck so that's what we have to do we have to make provision for that cut at the back of your head of your neck sorry so what we're going to do is this you're going to come from the top part here and i want you to place four inches this is a bit much but just to be safe come from the edge and make a mark at four inches now usually around the shoulder area we come down by only half an inch okay so you see that now i've created the point now you see this angle i have here now all my regular body measurements will be taken from inside this space that we have here so now check this for my shoulder measurement the shoulder that we're working with is 15 15 divided by 2 because the shoulder divided by 2 is 7.5 i'm going to come here i'm going to make a mark at 7.5 at that point okay now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to mark all my vertical measurements now vertical measurements are measurements that come from your shoulder that um, come from your shoulder down for example your dress length your underbust length measurements especially measurements that have lengths attached to them okay so i'm going to come from up here now and i'm going to go down so my underbust length like you saw in the measurements before the video started is 15 so i'm going to come here i'm going to make a mark at 15 now when i want to find my bust i use this formula i use my underbust length minus four inches to get my bust points okay so if my underbust length is 15 i'm going to count one two three four eleven and i'm going to place my bust there then as for where the cut would be so you've seen the thumbnail You've seen the image that made you click on the video. <laughs> yeah, um, the the cut is not sitting at the under butt um, but length exactly. We have to come down a bit. So we're going to come down by two inches and we're going to make a mark. That is where we are going to place the half cut. The half cut is the part that will come in contact with the flay at the bottom of the dress. Okay, so you see that I've rolled the line straight down. I'm going to come here and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, and I'm going to come to the bust and I'm going to do the same thing. So you see this we now have three lines here this is the bust line this is the under bust length line this here is the half cut line but when i'm placing my under bust length i'll keep it on my half cut and i'm going to ignore this line because of the proximity between the two of them okay it's better to have a straight line coming from here to here than to have a line that comes here then goes down that creates a sort of weird angle that's not what you want so what you're going to do now is you take your under bust round measurements the distance around the under bust and you are going to place it here so the under bust round measurement is 30 30 divided by 4 is 7.5 i'm going to place it here all the measurements that go around your body are divided by 4. the bust measurement is 36 36 divided by 4 
is nine inches so i'm going to come to where i said the bust is and i'm going to place nine inches then i'm going to simply just rule a line okay just rule a line now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to um place my neckline width and i'm going to place my shoulder measurements now if you're making this for a person that sits that has um a bust of around uh, 32 all the way up to uh, 38 what you are going to do now is you are going to place two points you are going to take bring your tape and you are going to place 2.5 for the neckline width now okay 2.5 you have a person that has a bust of 40 and up uh, i would increase that to 2.8 but 3 inches is a bit um, much for a short lapel neckline okay for a person that you know is busty but has a small body you might want to keep the neckline at 2.5 the best thing about um, the um, way the way a jacket is supposed to look is that you need the um, the lapel or the collar to come as close to your neck as possible without climbing <laughs> up to uh, your your throat. Okay, it's supposed to come very very close. If you see a well-made suit or a well-made jacket, you will never see like uh, the person's the shoulder of the person's. Um, shirt it's supposed to sit snugly around the collar so you want the short lapel even though this is a top you want it to sit snugly around the neck not tight but just it covers up all the holes you should not be able to see the person's um collar bone you, maybe in front here you should be able to see but there should not be a hole around here you don't want that to happen you don't want to be able to see this area you don't want your collar to sit like this <laughs> I'll spoil my shirt because of you people. Click on the on 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 my videos. Only some that is to hit. Click on all my videos and watch so that be buying new new shirts. People will not do. Look at I'm dragging the neck of my uh, 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 shirts. They're not selecting video that you watch and the one that you that you not watch. Anyway, um, so that has been done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to slope the shoulder. So I place two point four there. Um, 2.5 sorry and then the next I'm going to come to this point now okay and I'm going to slope my shoulder by one inch okay and then I'm going to come from the shoulder from the neckline to where I have the shoulder now the next thing is to place my armhole measurements okay now how do we find the armhole the armhole the formula for finding the armhole is the bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 okay 36 divided by 6 is 6 plus 1.5 is 7.5 all right you see that 36 divided by 6 both divided by 6 plus 1.5 36 divided by 6 is 6 plus 1.5 7 point, um 7.5 okay so we're going to um, place 7.5 now we're going to come from the top here and we're going to come to 7.5 and make a mark okay and we're going to draw a line from here down and then make a line across now the next thing i want you to do is i want you to bend your tape at the 7.5 so you can get an accurate center you can get the accurate middle of your tape you see that so i'm going to come place this part like so and then mark where we have the center so basically i divided 7.5 into two places and i've marked the center then we're going to come in by half an inch okay we're going to come in by half an inch and make a mark and then i'm going to make a curve okay if you don't have the curve it's still possible for you to draw a sweet armhole line so do not be um don't if you're a person that is just starting don't feel like you cannot get a sweet curve without this i use this so that i can be fast and make other videos <laughs> um now the next thing we have to do we've created the bodies the next thing we have to do is to create the shawl lapel now mind you on these bodies here i'm going to do a regular dart on my bodies so this when i'm when i'm holding that on my body what i'm going to do is i'm going to place the bust point to bust point divided by the nipple to nipple divided by two plus half the nipple to nipple is seven divided by um two is um, 3.5 plus half is four I'm going to come here and mark okay let me take that again the bust point to bust point nipple to nipple bust span from here to here okay you see from here to here for this person's size is seven inches for the person that I'm, I'm making this top for is seven inches when i divide it into two because i have put my fabric on a fold that seven bends in half which is 3.5 plus half inch for the allowance that we usually keep four we're going to make a mark there come to the bottom again and make a mark now because this is now because this is a regular that i'm holding um a regular that i'm not holding like a princess that or anything you come one inch after the bust points make a mark there and then draw a line from there straight down okay and then simply just open it up half an inch 
half an inch if you want to do a princess that on your own it's also possible see my video how to draft a princess that is going to tell you how to properly draft um the that in case you want to um, use a princess that as opposed to this also if you see my video how to draft uh, an off shoulder jacket you will see how to also install a boss that on the um, side under the armhole now the next thing is to attack the neck now what we are going to do is you know that we have made um we've taken a neckline um width of 2.5 okay that 2.5 is actually five inches if you want to measure across but just listen to this because we took a neckline width of 2.5 what we're going to do is this we're going to come here and we're going to make a mark at 2.5 you see this if you take if for some reason your neckline width was three inches okay from here to here was three inches you will come up and you place the inch and, and you place the inches there i hope that is clear because i took 2.5 from here and place it. okay so back to what i was saying the camera went off for some reason because i placed my neckline width from here to here 2.5 okay that's why i have 2.5 here if my neckline width was three i would have gone up by three okay this is the point i marked you can see i have drawn a line from here all the way down okay so now what i want you to do is this i want you to come from here to here okay you see this point here i want you to come from here to here and make a mark at 2.5 you see this it's a lot of 2.5 okay so it's basically like drawing a line from here to here that is what you are going to do basically just draw a line from here to here okay mark half inch on top for sewing allowance i hope that this is not too much okay so you see that now the next thing that i want to do is let me show you guys how this neck is going to sit you see this place here you see the front here extend extend this line from here all the way out you see that extend the line simply extend the line from here out to here okay so now what we want to do is we want to now control how the shawl lapel will sit now this is not a regular shawl lapel this is a shawl lapel that is also a wrap that is also double breasted so we're going to treat it differently from how we would treat a shawl lapel if it were um, just a jacket with a shawl lapel now this is what we're going to do now first of all i want you to come to this neckline okay you see this neckline here I want you to come here and I want you to decide where you want them to intersect so where you want the when you fold your wrap where you want it to close and you to decide how low you want it to be okay so for mine I want them to come across themselves okay at eight inches from the shoulder line you see that that's where I want them to cross themselves so now this is what we're going to do you need to now draw a curve you are going to come from here to here and draw a curve you see this and then continue the curve from here all the way out okay so now i've drawn the way i want it to sit now the next thing is we're going to have to now draw out the um, lapel so from here to here is 2.5 we're going to come a bit down the road make a mark at 2.5 come a bit lower 2.5 come a bit lower 2.5 okay and then we're going to draw a line connecting them together okay so you see that now the next thing is let me um we're going to add some allowances so on this the shoulder line here add half an inch let me use my green marker add half an inch at this point here for your sewing allowance okay here because of this dart line that we had this dart that we place remember the dart is half inch here, half inch here which is one inch we're going to add a regular allowance that we want to keep i want to keep one inch at the side because of this one inch this one inch i'm paying for the dart and i'm adding my regular allowance here is now two inches but up here i'll need only just one inch if you're a beginner you can keep as much as two inches okay and if you don't really trust yourself and at the bottom here we're going to need only half an inch for our allowance at the bottom but what i want you to do when you are drawing this line is i want you to come from this half inch here sorry and then taper it up okay to reduce some of to make this plate to drag here down okay so you see this you're going to come from here and take it up now let's cut it out let me show you how this is going to go so we'll cut the front like that we're going to cut here
We'll cut this side. We're going to cut around here. Now, because of this is a wrap, we don't need a zipper at the back because it's open and closed from the front, okay? Because it's open and closed from the front, we don't need a zipper at the back. So when I'm drafting the back, I'll draft the regular back without a zipper, but I'll show you what to do at the neckline. It's pretty easy, but I'm going to just show it so that you don't have any confusion and nothing is left out. So you see this place here? Now here it's going to sit exactly like this. So by the time, if this was um, fabric, look at the look it would have okay here is here is coming towards the center of the back and we have here running smoothly across the body okay i'm going to show you guys how all of this plays out when we are sewing that's going to come in the next video i didn't want to cut anything out of the video that i'm making on how to draft it when i'm sewing it you see everything here come to play okay so now let me draft the back I'll be back um, uh, to show you, give you some tips on how to go about drafting the back. Okay, but you can already see the shawl at that we have here. You can already see that there's enough allowance here for it to twist. Okay, some of this is going to twist and it's going to join. You see this part here? Look at the excess that we have here. Okay, it's going to go and meet with the other side that will come from here. If we had cut two pieces, you will see it. You will see how the thing looks. But we're done with the front okay so next let's um let me sh give you uh, tips for the back yeah a quick tip by the time you fold before i reach the back by the time you fold it if you see this part here there's going to be an angle it is okay you can see this when you fold this you see this part here that is pointy when it lays on the same line with the fabric that you are as in with the rest of the body that we have here you can simply flip this over and chop it off no problems you don't need that okay so yeah this is it so let me show you how to handle the back okay so my pattern for the back i have started drafting it this line here is my shoulder line this line here is the bust line under bust line half cut line you can see the line that we have from here to here so whatever you place for your neckline whatever you place for your neckline uh, width for the front make sure you do the same thing for the back so if it was 2.5 you place in front make sure that, look, that the neckline width is still 2.5 when it's time for you to handle the back now what i want you to do is at the front here we're going to all only come down here by half an inch so from the shoulder line for your neckline width your neckline depth sorry that's for the um, the deepness of the neckline at the back you're only going to come down by half an inch because your shawl lapel is not supposed to have a low neckline at the back all right so you see this simply just make a curve okay so after that same old same old we're going to slope the shoulder by one inch and then from the one inch our armhole is going to be 7.5 just like the front the only difference between the armhole for the front and the back is that we're not going to come in by half an inch at the center of the armhole like we did at the um at the front okay so the back is just a regular slope we're not going to come in by half an inch and then the next thing we're going to do is for the darts we're going to come from here to here the same thing we placed four inches okay four inches at the end all right we're going to draw a line connecting them together and then what we're going to do is you're going to come from the shoulder line to seven inches this is where your dart should start from okay and then you're going to mark half inch to the left half inch to the right like we did in front and we're going to draw a line from here taper it as you're heading towards the top okay now the same thing we did for the allowance is what we're going to do here because of this that we're going to place two inches here and at the top here we're going to place only one inch for our sewing allowance because we don't need a lot okay and then at the shoulder we're going to keep half an inch at the top part here all right now i'm going to simply cut this out i'm going to make a video showing you how you cut this on fabric what you should do how you should piece it together but that's coming in the next video i just didn't want to mash the two videos together because it would be too long you can see how many minutes i've used just to explain 
how to draft it as for the sleeve as for the sleeve and um, as for the sleeve the video on how to draft the sleeve I'm going to show you um, parts of how to draft the sleeve in the next class but I've made a video on how to draft the sleeve so make sure you check that out also check out my video on how to draft a 7 to a um, 360 720 uh, 1440 degree flay if you've not seen that um, so yeah this is the front this is the back so in the next class we're going to handle sewing it but yeah that's all for today hope you have a lovely day uh, I just had to push out this video uh, all right so thank you <laughs> bye bye